Welcome to the Digital Photography Podcast Video Edition, episode number 14 for Wednesday, November 7th, 2007. In this episode, I'm going to get really, really geeky. I want to show you something that I just think is the coolest thing ever. And it has to do with what they call geotagging images. And that's the, abil uh, the ability to attach a geographic location to an image. I have a program here called GPS Photo Linker. It's a shareware program for the Mac. There's a lot of programs just like this available for the PC as well. If you, if you do a search for attaching GPS data to EXIF data or something like that, I'm sure you'll find some. The way this works is when I'm out photographing, I carry a very small GPS with me. And uh, in my case, I use a Garmin eTrex Legend HCX, which is a pretty cool little thing. It's about the size of a pack of cigarettes. And all the time while I'm shooting, it's keeping track of where I am. And what I do when I get back home is I open up my card, go to my images, and what I do is I just copy them off to my computer. And while that's happening, I go ahead and launch this program, this GPS photo linker. And what I do is I download the tracks from the GPS itself. And I've already done that just to save a few seconds time on this video. So the tracks are already downloaded. What it does is it gets the track information from the GPS and downloads it to a location of your choosing. And in my case, I chose to put it on my desktop. So here's the track information that's from the GPS. And what you do is you load the tracks into this program. And here they are. And now the tracks are loaded, and the way you can see that is that they're right here. And then you load your photos. Oh, whoopsie. Uh, let's see. Do that one more time. I want to load the whole directory. Okay, my photos are loaded. Now, these are not fabulous photos. I just ran around a few minutes ago shooting some photos just to demonstrate this. I go to batch mode, and all I have to do is click this button here, and what it'll do, hopefully, there it goes. What it'll do is it'll attach the GPS data to the images based on the timestamp on the image compared to the timestamp on the GPS unit. So the GPS data knows where I was and when I was there, and the camera, of course, knows when I took the picture. So that information together gets melded together, and what this program does is actually inserts that GPS data into the EXIF data of the image. Now you can see here is the latitude, the longitude, altitude even, city, state, country, all of that is brought into the image. Now that's all stored in the EXIF data of the image. So I'm done with this program here. I'm done with my images. I can eject that. And these are the images and they all have that information in them now. And what's really cool is I can launch, say, like Lightroom, for instance. It's a program I've been using lately to catalog my images. And I can import these images into Lightroom. And what will happen is, as they're imported, it'll pick up all the EXIF data from the images. And as you'll be able to see down here, it displays the GPS information. Now, what's so cool about knowing that? Well, you know, it's kind of geeky, you know, 33 degrees, 44 minutes, 56 seconds, blah, blah, blah. That doesn't mean anything to anybody. But in Lightroom, you can actually click on this arrow over here, and it'll actually launch Google Maps and show you where that picture was taken. That's pretty cool. Another cool thing you can do is if you upload this image to a photo sharing site, like Flickr, was one I use, that EXIF data is going to go with it, and Flickr is automatically going to recognize that and place the image on a map. So when somebody's looking at your pictures on Flickr, and down in the sort of lower right-hand corner where all the information is about the image, the camera, that sort of stuff, there is a, a, a hyperlink there that says, you know, view this image on a map, and they can click on it and see it on a map. And that's really cool for when people are looking at your images and say, wow, 
you know, that's a really fantastic image. But obviously, this is not a fantastic image. But if they were saying that and they were seeing it on Flickr, they could say, boy, I wonder where he was when he took that. They can just click on the map and they'll see it, you know, within a resolution of a couple of meters, exactly where you were standing when you took that picture. So it's really geeky stuff, this, this stuff called geotagging, but it's really fun. And uh, it could be good when you're on a vacation or something. You come back with thousands and thousands of images and you see an image and you can't remember exactly where you were when you took it. This is going to give you, you know, within, within a couple of meters where you were standing when you took that picture. And that's pretty cool information to have. So geotagging is what it's all about. Um, putting the uh, GPS data into the EXIF data of the picture is what that application was that I showed you. And like I said, there's a lot of things written for Windows that do the same thing. The one I was using, I'll put it in the show notes uh, where you can get it. It's shareware. You can download it for free. You can play with it forever for free. But if you like it, you go ahead and send the author a few bucks. And that's what I'm just about ready to do because I just tested it. It works great. I love it. And I know I'm going to use it. So I'm going to send him some money. And uh, I'll put a, like I say, I'll put a link to his software in the show notes. And if you are a uh, Mac user, uh, you can just go to Google and type in GPS Photo Linker, and you'll get a link to his website, and you'll be able to download that software and try it. So that's it for tonight. We did some geeky geotagging, and we had some fun attaching GPS data to images and theoretically uploading them to Flickr where people can see them and see where your pictures were taken. So until next time, keep on shooting! <laughs>